We all have been using ChatGPT for the last so many months to help us in our daily life and we programmers really know how to use it like a pro. I asked ChatGPT to create a to-do list in ASP.NET Core MVC and not at all a surprise that I was able to use the prompts from ChatGPT and create one in under 5 minutes. It gave me all the steps to create a new to-do list in ASP.NET MVC and this is how I used it. I first had to ask ChatGPT to give me the instructions to create a new project using Visual Studio as it did not give me one initially. Following the instructions, ChatGPT asked me to select the ASP.NET Core Web App option whereas I should really select the Model View Controller option to create an MVC app. After creating the project, ChatGPT asked me to create a model inside the models folder and add a new class called todoitem.cs with the following code. It then asked me to create a new todo controller and add the code for the view, create, edit and delete actions. After creating the folder, it asked me to create the view files index, create and edit CSHTML inside this folder. These view files correspond to each of the actions that we defined inside our controller. After that, ChatGPT asked us to change the routing of our app to open the to-do page by default. But the code that it was suggesting was from a previous version of .NET. But because I knew that the startup file no longer exists in the latest version of .NET, I knew where to make the changes. So I opened up the program.cs file and changed the default route to the to-do controller and the index action method. It was time to build our application which it did successfully without any errors and was the moment of truth to see if ChatGPT was able to create a working to-do list for us. When we run the application, it presents us with the to-do list screen and as expected, there were no to-do items in the list. I clicked the add new item button and that takes to the add new to-do item page. When the page opens, you can clearly see that the checkbox is not rendered correctly. So let's go back to the application and see why is that. We can see that the label has not been uh, correctly closed and you know this syntax is from a version of Bootstrap that is an older version. So I go to the Bootstrap website and we go to checkboxes and this is the latest version of Bootstrap so we have to take the checkbox from here and paste it inside our application and tweak a few things over here so I'll first get the input element so I'll get that and paste it below the input element over here because we want to change the classes to the latest classes that the bootstrap provides us so I can now get rid of this one the label also has a different class which is form check label and that is for the is completed property so let's change that and the text would say is completed question mark so that is the checkbox that we want we can now get rid of this one and reload our application let's go back to this and we can see that the application is now working as expected and it's rendering correctly so after that small change let's create our first to do item let's say this is the first item and I won't select the is completed button yet so I'll just click on the create button and that takes me to the to-do list which now populates the table with one record and I'll go to the add button again but this time I'll say this is a completed item and select the checkbox and create that one more time and you can see that the completed column over here populates the yes and no correctly so that is a plus now that we can say that the create functionality is kind of working now we want to test the edit functionality so let's just first test the the first item and let's edit that to change it to the third item and as you can see even in the edit one we have to go back and change the uh, the checkbox to the newer format so i'll just go back to the application i'll copy this first because i can reuse it in my edit.cshtml and i'll replace the checkbox with what i have now and that's not a very big change so i'll just re-roll the application and it loads the first item I'll change this to the third item uh, and let's say this is updated so I'll say save and that changes the item over here and let's say if we want to also make that completed you can save that and now both the items are completed as well so with a small change the edit fun functionality of our to do list is also working correctly so now the last part is to check if the delete works fine and the delete is doesn't take you to any other page it just goes to the controller directly and deletes the item so you can see the page reloaded and deleted the, the list from the table so if I delete 
delete this one it comes back to the no items found and you know that is uh, the behavior or the to-do list app that we have over here so it is quite impressive how chat gpt was able to create an almost working application just by a single line of question to it i know this is quite an easy application and there are features missing from this application like storing it in a database or validations etc but it is what we asked for and full credits to chat gpt for creating an application for us that fast in my personal opinion chat gpt is here to make our lives easier and not to take our jobs chat gpt needs the correct prompts and it can present data that is a little dated but we can still can't take anything away from the beast that is now available to us as part of our daily life let me know what your thoughts are regarding chat gpt will it take our jobs or not really till chat gpt learns how to take our jobs in the meantime you can learn to upskill yourself and give chat gpt some competition i have this lovely 13 plus hour asp.net core mvc project that teaches how to build a real world application from scratch using asp.net mvc in a very nice and systematic fashion i would love you all to visit this course and watch the intro and only buy it if you like it i do have a coupon code that you can use to buy this course and i'll pop that in the description do like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you all in the next one.